Here we have a Ferris wheel, 2 meters off the ground. It has a radius of 18 meters and takes 150 seconds to make a full rotation. Its rider loads at the bottom. We want to know what's a cosine function to describe this scenario. All right, well, maybe we could draw it. That might help us. Ferris wheel is a circle and it's 2 meters above the ground. So if we wanted to draw some sort of axis here, its lowest y value would be 2. Now it has a radius of 18. Well, we can kind of see from this picture, if we're already up 2 at our lowest point, we have to go another 18 to get to the middle, and then another 18 to get to the top. Well, that's 18 plus 18 plus 2. That's a highest point of 38. So we've come up with our y max, which is 38. We've come up with our y min, which is 2. We can use this to find some information. We know a, a is given by y max minus y min over 2. So that's 36 over 2 or 18. It's no coincidence, this is just the radius. We also know the k value from this. The k value is the sum of these and taking the division. 38 plus 2 over 2, 40 over 2 is 20. The way we've drawn this along the y-axis, we won't have a horizontal shift, so h will be 0. The only thing missing is b. Typically, we say that the period is 2 pi over b for sine and cosine. Here, the period, one full rotation, is 150 seconds. Let's just solve for b. We could multiply by b and divide by 150 to get b as 2 pi over 150. We actually have everything we need. Let's just put it in a cosine function. y equals a cosine of b, 2 pi over 150. We'll just say x. You could use theta as well, plus our k value, plus that vertical shift of 20. There is a nice cosine function to describe this situation. Here, x is in seconds.